back in front of the camera. Wow, this just feels great. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Amber. If you are new, heh, what is good? Today I will be filming a Q&A. I never filmed a Q&A on my channel before, so I asked on my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, which you should follow, and on my Snapchat. The questions that you guys had for me, and most of them were temple related, so, um, so I will be um, <laughs> talking about temple today. Okay. Especially for my TU22 people out there that followed me on Facebook and messaged me on Facebook and sent me all these nice messages. I mean, I guess we can just get right into it because I mean, <laughs> I got a lot of questions. I might not get to all of them. Some of them might overlap. So we're just going to see how this goes and <laughs> stick around to the end of this video for a special surprise. But let's just get right into the video. The first question was, what were your school options and why did you choose Temple? So... I applied to a lot of schools. I think I applied to at least about 60, maybe that's an exaggeration, probably like 40, 50 schools. I was just applying, applying, applying. The Common App, I had mad fee waivers. So I was like, might as well just have a whole bunch of options. In the end, it ended up being too much and a little bit overwhelming for me because I had like a lot to choose from. And I don't know, it was kind of cool that I had a lot of options. But then, you know, when you have a lot of options, it kind of just makes things a little bit harder. Because um, each school had something good. I applied to, I'm originally from New Jersey. So I applied to a lot of schools in New Jersey. I applied to Rutgers, I applied to Montclair State, I applied to Ryder University, Monmouth University, and I forget what other, William Patterson. I applied to a whole, most of the schools in New Jersey because um, like I wanted to see the in-state in tuition, I wanted to see how much money they would give me. I applied to a lot of schools, but I did visit Temple. I didn't really need to visit any of the schools in New Jersey because they're like I've been there before, I've seen them before, like, I need to do all that. Um, and I knew deep in my heart that I kind of didn't want to stay in New Jersey. I didn't apply to any HBC, oh no, no, I did apply to Hampton. I did get in, but the reason why I chose Temple was because I toured, um, I did like an open house, um, I applied early, like Temple was in my head like my main choice. I applied early, I applied in like <laughs> October of my, probably even September of my senior year in high school I got my acceptance letter early but I toured Temple and I loved it I went to open house it was a nice day I saw all the beautiful diversity I saw the food options um, everybody was so nice still to this day I would not want to go to any other school like it's really perfect it's right in the middle of the city and it's just a lot of things here at Temple that you don't really get at other schools things just so close and I don't know it's not like we're in the middle of nowhere or anything like that and I like it so someone asks what is the best and worst thing about Temple the worst thing about Temple right now is the construction okay that's the that's probably the worst part about Temple as you know when I first got here I thought everybody everything was very pretty everything was really nice it was only the library that they were building and it was a big hole in the ground they do a lot they have done a lot of construction the time that I've been here, the whole school is practically a construction site right now. So that's the only thing that I would say is the worst thing about Temple right now. But the best part about Temple is <sighs> everything. I would say the best part about Temple has to be definitely the people that I've met. Ugh, there's so many good things about Temple. I just can't. Um, I would say the best part about Temple is definitely the people that you'll meet. Um, they have a little bit of everything for everyone. I when I was in high school, I was a part of a dance company. Um, I stopped a little bit my senior year, but I didn't know if I was gonna get back to dancing in college. But they have a million dance teams. I'm exaggerating, but like they have a whole bunch of dance teams for you to choose from, different styles. They have a whole bunch of community service organizations. They just have oh, it's so much and that's i would say that's the best way to meet people is joining the different things that they have available to you the different organizations and clubs you really connect with people when you join something that you're passionate about or you like to do or whatever the case may be that's how you really connect with people on a different level and that's how you meet people you know with the same interests as you and it just makes your life at college a whole lot better when you someone asked i think this is a very interesting question what is 
dating like at Temple. What is dating? Let me stop. Dating at Temple, I would say it's pretty fun because it's a lot of stuff to do around Philly. There's a lot of nice like date spots like Spruce Street and it has like hammocks and lights during the summer. I've been to a couple different places that have like Groupon deals like the Gun Range or Axe Throwing, you know, just fun, adventurous kind of dates to do. South Street has a whole bunch of food. So I'd say like going on dates, like places to go on dates is a very abundant amount. In terms of like finding someone to go with, um, <laughs> well, <laughs> good luck Charlie. <laughs> I don't know, dating is kind of hard here. Um, I guess I would say um, dating at Temple isn't, um, it isn't hard, um, but sometimes Temple could feel really small, especially depending on whatever group you're in, whatever friend group you have, and the surrounding friend groups around it. Especially Black Temple. Black Temple is like, <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of us, but like, it's kind of small. So like, everybody practically knows each other really, so things being messy you know we don't even need to go into it really much but that's my take on it what made you start a youtube channel this is not a temple related question but i started my youtube channel kind of because temple i started a youtube channel because i used to always watch youtube i was obsessed with college vlogs my favorite college vlogger is jayla corian if you guys don't know already i've already preached this on my channel a couple times she kind of inspired me to start my own youtube channel kind of especially doing college vlogs i would just remember like people telling me like oh you watch college vlogs so much why don't you do your own i'm like oh, oh, okay grab the camera grab the light because i used to work at best buy and i wonder if i still have it I don't even remember if I still have it, but like this is like my second light that I got when I took YouTube a little bit more seriously. It kind of looked like, um, kind of looked like this one. It was just a little smaller. You just put some batteries in it. This is before I upgraded to like ring lights and umbrella lights and all that good stuff. But I was really passionate about it. I always wanted to do a YouTube channel. I love doing YouTube. I love creating content. And I love putting out content. I love hearing your responses. And YouTube has given me a lot of opportunities. So... Another person asked me, um, these are non-temple related questions now, how many siblings do I have? I have four other siblings, not including myself. I have two um, little sisters, I'm the oldest. I have two little sisters and they're twins and I have another sister, um, she's 16 years old and I have a brother. Um, so I have four other siblings, I'll insert a little picture if you guys want to see them. I love them so much. Uh, even though they get on my nerves <laughs> someone else asked where are you from I said it earlier but I am from New Jersey I grew up in New Jersey my whole life I didn't like grow up somewhere else move somewhere I grew up in New Jersey my whole life Jersey North Jersey not South North we don't mess with the South okay 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 next question is what made you choose BAM? If you guys don't know what BAM is, BAM is the dance team that I'm on here at Temple's campus. And quick little story time, I um, did not know anybody coming into Temple. Um, nobody from my school went here. My high school went here, so basically I was starting brand new, didn't know anybody, and I would say I did pretty good for myself, if I do I must say so myself. I found some pretty cool people, pretty amazing people to a part of my circle here, so I would just, you know, just pat myself on the back for that one, okay? I did know one person that went here, but I couldn't remember his Instagram name for the life of me. And um, we went to high school together. I transferred high schools after my freshman year. Went to the same high school together, but we didn't really know each other. I went to Temple Fest, and I wasn't planning on going to Temple Fest, but I did go anyway. And that's when all the clubs and organizations, you know, basically just go out and give their information. You can sign up for their email list, find, find out when their first meeting is, all that good stuff. So I was walking around, you know, just walking around Temple Fest with my roommate, um, and someone spotted me in the crowd and they came up to me and it was Ramel. If you guys do not know who Ramel is, he's like my favorite person. Um, 
R Ramel spotted me, he's on BAM, and he was like, oh, come to the table, don't you dance? Or something like that, and I was just like, yeah, I do. Aren't you, um, don't I follow you on Instagram or something like that? I don't really remember how the conversation transpired, but I went over to the table, and I got a little, um, slip for the auditions, and... <laughs> I went to the audition. I was nervous as you don't know what because I haven't danced in a year. Um, but I ended up making the team and as soon as I got on the team, I knew I was in the right place. It was really amazing how it happened. It's nothing but God to be honest, but it was really amazing how the whole thing went down. It was just like, because I wasn't going to go to Temple Fest and I was too nervous to go to the first audition, so I went to the second audition and then I made the team and ugh, it was just great. Um, next question we got here is, um, I'm going to say from May Hickey because she gave me a nice little message. Um, hey, I'm going to be a freshman in the fall. I saw your post on the Temple page and I had a question for the Q&A. Was it hard to find friends slash a group at first because Temple is such a large school? It was hard to find friends because at first I was very like emotional and anxious and depressed because I didn't know anyone here like I said before um, but it, it really comes down to it really really comes down to you joining those groups and putting yourself out there and not only just putting yourself out there but putting out the best most authentic version of yourself because you attract what you are or I guess in this case you attract what you present so if you're presenting like a different version of you that's not really you that's what you're gonna attract if you really like be yourself like I cannot stress that enough be yourself then the right people will come trust me because that's if there's anything that I did my freshman year that I said I would I did right is definitely be who I really was and that really helped me narrow down my friend group and all that good stuff so I that's my best advice that's my best advice and for my freshmen out there if you are scared because you feel like everybody got friends and you don't or everybody know each other and they didn't first of all they don't really know each other they just been texting in a group chat okay that's first second of all everybody is scared this co college is new college you've never been to college college is new it's new for everybody it's, it's not like they've been to college before it's not like these freshmen that you see with friends have been to college they, it, everything is new to them just like it's new to you so just know having that mindset that everybody is just like you it's really easy to connect with them because it's just like oh you can ask them questions like oh did you see this or like oh did you get to do this already and you know it sparks conversation maybe you guys can go and see things together so that's my best advice for freshmen like everyone is just as scared as you <laughs> everyone is just scared as you and once you come to terms with that realization it makes things way easier someone asks what do you want to do with your major well, my major, if you guys do not know, I probably don't really talk about my major that much on here. My major is Media Studies and Production. I did change it. My original major was Communication Studies, but I switched it to my minor only because I felt like Media Studies and Production was more the realm that I wanted to go into. But I already had taken all the, most of the classes for Communication Studies, and the minor wasn't that much classes to take after so I was like I might as well just put that on as a minor right now I'm also working on a content creation minor because it's new it, I'm pushing it a little bit I am on schedule to graduate early me and my advisor we've talked about it already and all that good stuff and I still can graduate a semester early basically what I want to do with my major is social media marketing or digital media marketing um, anything dealing with advertisement through social media generating brand awareness, engagement with the audience, target audience, um, all that good stuff. I had an internship which was just like this, social media marketing. I was helping, I helped a company basically build their social media pages and um, they used it for hiring purposes. So they used the social media to recruit new employees and I thought that that job was so cool. Um, my 
boss she just had so many questions and I just loved like helping and just building I like I like to see it grow I like seeing it grow I like seeing the numbers go up I like seeing people actually applying for the jobs and all that stuff I like seeing the results um, especially from work that I did and that I helped do and it was just a fun job like it's something that I really see myself doing especially for maybe like a company that I like or a company that I can learn something new from I it doesn't matter social media marketing is really really fun I can, even if I'm using it for hiring or if I'm using it for promotion or I'm using it to sell if no matter the case no matter the case I definitely do want to do that when I get out of school it is like a new market so people do have their you know things that they say about it like oh um, you might not get a job or oh that job is so um that's so popular now blah blah, blah. so it's really like mm -mm -mm, but that's basically what I want to do out of college and that's what I want to do with my major and this is the last question <laughs> do you want to turn YouTube into your full-time job no <laughs> As much as I would love to sit in front of a camera all day and earn money, um, I do, and YouTube is a job that's very remote, like you don't really need to stay in one spot to do a YouTube channel or anything really. Um, I do like being able to create my own content and be my own boss in a sense, but um, the only thing is that it, YouTube is a very lonely job. I've seen like YouTubers who make this their full-time job they get very lonely they get very depressed and you see all those videos and stuff and I definitely cannot make this my full-time job I would love to but and then I also have times when I don't have any ideas for content and if I don't have any ideas for content that means I don't get paid so that's why I'm also not doing it that concludes all the questions for this q a thank you guys so much for sending in your questions now we have a special surprise stay right there i've had my youtube channel for about almost close to two years now and last summer i did do a back to school giveaway and since this q a was kind of like school related ish i definitely wanted to do another giveaway on my channel and just basically thank you guys for engaging with me this year and just giving me all the opportunities that you guys have in the past by watching my videos, liking them, sharing them, and all that good stuff. So, and this year, I am giving away TV. Ew, it's messing up the lighting. But, um, yes, I'm giving away a TV. It is a Vizio. It is, can you see the inches? It's 24 inches and it's um it's a smart tv so it has netflix built into it um hulu youtube yeah it has all that stuff built into the tv it's 1080p so that's top quality top notch i purchased this with my own money and i wanted to do something really 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 nice really really nice for one lucky subscriber and the rules for entering this giveaway are just the same as last year the rules for this giveaway are super simple super easy nothing crazy nothing hard so each thing that you do is counted as an entry if you subscribe to my channel that is one entry comment down below your school and the year that you're supposed to graduate or the year that you graduated in the comment section down below and that counts as another entry if you follow me on Twitter, that counts as another entry. And lastly, if you follow me on Instagram, that counts also as another entry. So there are four ways for you to enter this giveaway. If you do all four, you're entered four times. Increases your chances of winning. I'm so excited for this giveaway. Um, I'll insert a little clip of the last giveaway winner. I just hope you guys are excited. And I'm very excited for this giveaway. Um, I already have a TV, so I don't really need it. But I feel like this was a good back-to-school gift to give, especially to college students. Even, like, college students now who are in apartments and they probably don't have a TV in their room or anything. I definitely am very happy to be giving this away. I will see you guys in my next video. And good luck on the giveaway. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm a little bit of 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 a little